how negative credit affects VA home loan qualification. Today, we're going to break down how negative credit affects your ability to use the VA home loan and the most important part, how to fix it. My name is David Piatek with VA Housing Education, where we specialize in educating the military community around using the VA home loan. So let's dive into it. Listen, guys, life happens. You could have a job loss, primary wage earner passes away. You might be in a relationship where someone overspends, right? There's deployments with limited access, so you're not, you might not be able to access your accounts to pay them, or someone abusing a power of attorney and opening accounts under your credit, racking up debt and not paying for it, right? Some of the negative components that happen with that could be collections, charge-offs, bankruptcies. You might have unpaid debt that's currently delinquent. Like let's say you have an open credit card, and you missed a payment or two. And there's also consolidation loans, bankruptcies and foreclosures and or short sales. All of that's gonna have an impact on your credit score. And no, the VA does not have a minimum credit score, but most lenders do. The lowest I've seen them go down to is a 500 credit score. Now, these events are going to have an immediate impact on your credit report, and it can be pretty significant. The cool part is, is that or I should say at least the good part is, over time, these things will either fix themselves or they won't affect your credit at some point as long as you go back on track and paying all your bills on time, right? So for most people, it's if you relapse back into not making payments after you've made a significant stride forward, that's where the challenge comes in. So the goal is to really to pay your bills on time uh, after you've had these negative events. So the first thing we're going to talk about is going to be collections. Now, all of this is going to be primarily at the underwriter's discretion, right? The VA sets its guidelines. So that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about what it means to be satisfactory through all these different categories uh, that I mentioned. But an underwriter at the end of the day is going to look at this and they're going to see with a letter of explanation, does do these events make sense? And can we make exceptions? Because like anything with the VA, there's definitely exceptions that could be made. It's very loose and for a reason because it's here to help veterans. So now when it comes to collections, there's two types that the VA really recognizes. Isolated collections or if you have significant collections, right? So let's say you had a parking ticket for $50. That's an isolated collection. If you have 12 collection accounts, that would be pretty significant and the underwriter is going to have to weigh that. Also, if the accounts are open or they close, meaning they're dormant where the... Um, collection company is not pursuing that debt anymore. That's also going to have an effect for you. If you've paid those collections off, that is also going to be very positive. Or if you're in a repayment plan, that's also going to make an impact on if a uh, underwriter is going to approve it or not. Now, typically when you're in a repayment plan or you've paid off your collections, typically there's like a 12 month waiting period, especially if you're in a repayment plan, they want to see that you've made 12 on time payments because technically it's like untraditional credit that they're looking at to see like, yes, you've gotten everything together and you don't have new collections. Now, if a new collection does pop up within that 12 month period and you satisfy it right away, that can be a compensating factor. Again, a person is going to look at this and say, does this make sense or it doesn't make sense for them to be able to get a loan? That's why at times you can be qualified with one lender and not another, depending on how the underwriter takes a look at it. If you guys have questions, please feel free. Always reach out to us. You can check out vahousingeducation.com uh, and schedule a consultation with us. We're happy to help you navigate this piece. Now, when it comes to charge off accounts, right? Again, that's what the lender is not looking uh, anymore to pursue that debt. You're going to have to write a letter of explanation on what happened during that time. And for a lot of people, it's really isolated to being within a couple months or like a one year or two year period because of life events that happen. Now, for some folks, when you look at your credit report, you might look at it and go, well, this debt isn't mine or they incorrectly reported my debt or they put a late payment on there and it wasn't late. And we see this happen actually more often than not. So you're going to dispute that account with the credit bureaus themselves 
to be able to remove that. Now, if your account is in a disputed status, we're going to be able to see that on a credit report. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're not qualified because you have a disputed account, but that's something you definitely want to be able to take care of. Now, when it comes to judgments, those either have to be paid in full or you need to be in a repayment plan with a 12-month payment history that you've made all those payments on time. If you miss a payment, again, it restarts that entire process. So really managing your finances, understanding your budget is going to be critical in these types of situations. Now, let's say you went into a judgment, uh, you have a judgment and it's been less than a year. Well, the underwriter could look at that and go, well, they've been in, uh, in judgment for the last six months. They've made all their payments on time. They might have good reserves, assets, whatever the case may be. There's definitely compensating factors that could be attributed to your loan in order to make it work. Now, when it comes to consumer credit consul uh, counseling plans, got to get that word out, uh, that's actually a very specific program, which I didn't actually even know about till recently. So there's nonprofit organizations that are out there. They advise you on your money, your debt, how to budget, and they develop a debt management plan for you, right? So these are organizations that are helping you to navigate your credit. So it's not necessarily going to be reflected on your credit report, but you're going to have some type of agreement that you're working on improving your credit, which is actually a very positive component to your credit report. So again, in that piece, if you show 12 consecutive payments of paying all your bills on time, it is a compensating factor for you to be able to utilize your VA home loan. Now let's talk about bankruptcies. There's two types. There's the chapter seven, which is a straight liquidation of all your liabilities. So basically you file for a chapter seven, everything that you have on your credit report is going to be uh, removed off your credit report and the uh, creditors are not going to be going after you. There's also a chapter 17. That's where you agree to go into a repayment plan to pay off all your bills. Now for a chapter seven, you typically have a two year waiting period from the time the loan is uh, from the time the bankruptcy is discharged in order for you to be able to use the VA home loan. Now in certain uh, circumstances you could do it between a year and two years but that generally uh, you have to prove that you had causes beyond your control like unemployment, prolonged strikes, uh, medical bills not covered by insurance to name a few. Uh, divorce situations would not count towards this uh, beyond the control of a borrower so just kind of keep that in mind. For a chapter 13, you have to make 12 on-time payments, and then you're eligible to use. Uh, you're going to be qualified, I guess, and eligible to use your VA home loan uh, for that. Just keep in mind uh, that typically, whoever's managing the Chapter 13 will also have to sign off on you purchasing a property, so that can be a factor for that. Now, when it comes to foreclosures and short sales, the same thing. There's a two-year uh, there's a two-year waiting history in order to be able to use the VA home loan. Uh, again, they can make exceptions, but again, typically, if it's within one year, two-year mark, you need the extraordinary situation. And anything deemed one year or less, the VA says there's no way to determine you've satisfactorily been able to reestablish your credit. All of these things are going to be factored into your qual uh, to your qualification. Remember, eligibility is time and service and character of discharge to use your VA home loan. So most of you watching that are veterans are going to be eligible for your VA home loan. The complicated part comes up with qualifications, right? So we covered today just the, how negative credit affects your ability to use the VA home loan. But there's a lot of different components to that, which we talk about through all, all our videos. So again, my name is David Piatek with VA Housing Education. Please hit the like and subscribe button for more content like this. And please share it with your veteran network. There's a lot of veterans out there that are struggling, that may not understand what situation they could be in. And as a bonus tip on this, any type of negative information on your credit report falls off after seven years. And for any type of judgments or bankruptcies, they stay on your credit report for 10 years. That's why with time, your credit can be fixed. Again, the challenge is, is that people relapse into that. So again, guys, please like and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys soon.